Hi, up here. Hi, I'm Bruce Blitz, and welcome to Cartooning with Blitz. I'm really glad you join me today because today, today we're going to talk about cartooning and how anything, anything could happen in cartooning. Pretty tough. Hey, did you ever notice how in cartooning how no one ever falls until they notice that they're in the air? Well, and by the way, did you notice that right before I fell, I did one of these? That's called a take. And it happens in live action and in cartooning. And today, we'll draw a cartoon take. And we'll draw body language and other expressions as well. All right, let's do another one. And this time, uh-oh, it's time for the gag sketch of the day. All right, this is a good one. You'll like this one. Okay, take a look at this. It's a guy, that's right, and it says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Can you guess what this is? All right, get ready. He's got a weak stomach. See, he's got the days of the week. He's got a weak stomach. All right, let's do another sketch. It's a tough crowd, I'll tell you. That's a good one. You know that was a good one. All right, this time we're going to do an expression, and we're going to have someone kind of talking like this to somebody out of the side and pointing like this. Now watch how that works out. Start with a big shape, because it's mostly going to be the person's face. And have a three-quarter view looking this way. Again, remember, think of it as a three-dimensional object. See, now it has roundness. And let's see, over here we'll put a circle and indicate the hand and arm. And there you go. Now I'm ready to go with my marker. Now we're going to draw his face and he's going to be laughing, like we did before. We'll have the eyes shut, like this. The eyebrows up. Now let's give him a nose. Noses don't affect facial expressions. I don't know why that is. It just doesn't. It's the mouth and the eyes and the eyebrows. Now let's give him a big smile. Some teeth, tongue, and darken all that in. All right, now we're ready. This is the hand. Now, I'm going to draw the thumb. His hand is actually facing the other way, facing palms out. That's the first thing you want to ask yourself when you're drawing cartoon hands, is which way are the palms facing? Then it'll be easy. Okay, now here's the palm, and now we're going to draw some fingers. I'll start with this side. That way these can look like they're fitting behind. See how that one, this one overlaps that one, and we continue on. All right, now we're going to come down and draw the forearm and the side of the face. And here's the sleeve. All right, see how this person is speaking, doesn't want anybody to hear. Okay, let's put some hair on. And some hair coming out that way. All right, now the other. Now this hand is going to be like this. We see the knuckles, the fingers are bent back this way, in a fist. Here's the forearm, and the sleeve is down here. And the thumb is pointing to something. And we put a nail on. The rule of thumb is I put a nail on when I get real close like that. If it was further back, I wouldn't bother. All right, now we'll have his body facing this way. And now let's add a little color. You know, cartoons are such a universal language. I mean, think of it. You go to an airport or something where people speak different languages. So what do they do? They put up pictures or cartoons where you eat. And baggage claim, this way you don't have to speak the language. A little bit of red. And there you have it, maybe for the cheeks a little bit. Let's give him a checkered shirt. And you got an expression where someone is talking about somebody and they're using their shoulders, hand, thumb, and it's a complete package. 